Hello, my name is Mike Smith. I'm a realtor who lives in the Dartmouth area. And today I'm doing a short story on the Dartmouth Waterfront Trail, which starts here at the Dartmouth Ferry Terminal and then continues all the way to Woodside. So come on, let's get on my bike, go for a ride, and check it out. Okay, here we go, uh, leaving the terminal behind and starting down the trail. Okay, and now we're continuing uh, parallel to Alderney Drive there and uh, driving past here. This is the future site of the King's Wharf condominium uh, development, which is the largest development Nova Scotia has ever seen. And that's all, uh, you can almost see the, the foundations they're beginning to, to make. And um, here of course is fun, all these boats as a part of Dominion diving. And continuing over this great little bridge here. So continuing on, here's just a warehouse building and as you can see uh, it's been painted very nicely. Uh, there's a lot of respect here and the uh, other graffiti artists don't, don't spray any graffiti on this uh, artwork because it was done so nicely. Okay, now we're continuing on parallel to Hazelhurst Street. The only thing that's gotten a lot of negative feedback on the uh, Dartmouth Waterfront Trail is these crazy, what I call, cattle guards. Uh, they say that they have to do it because of CNN regulations, because uh, people could not see the train that only moves five miles per hour. So these guards are designed to slow people down. But wait until Canada Day when you get a couple thousand people here watching the fireworks. People aren't going to be able to make it through this. Uh, in my opinion, this needs to change. There are several points of interest from where I'm standing here. Uh, this is the uh, Dartmouth base for the Coast Guard. Uh, this actually has been sold and will probably be developed by a real estate developer. Here, uh, you wouldn't know, these are the apartments on Maplehurst and they had just finished building this big wall and the path will actually continue up through here what it was before people got confused on the trail sometimes because they couldn't tell uh, where the trail ended and uh, they didn't know that you had to walk through the parking lot of the apartment buildings to where it continues. Uh, like I said, this construction, my guess is, will be done, done in a month or so. Okay, now we're continuing past the uh, Coast Guard uh, base. Continuing, this is the uh, Municipal Water Treatment Building. And down we go. Wee hee! No hands! Uh oh! This is really a nice area, especially in the summer when the trees are all grown up. And what we're doing now is we're passing uh, the new uh, NSCC Community College building on the waterfront. You can see there, there's some nice benches to stop and enjoy the view along the way. And now we're coming to the end of the trail. This is the Woodside Terminal. Okay, so we made it to the end of the trail. I'm sitting here right out front the uh, Woodside ferry terminal and unfortunately the trail ends here it would be fantastic <clears throat> I don't know if you can quite see but the um, the refinery the big oil refinery is just past here and um, I would love to see the trail somehow continue along the water past the refinery and uh, continue on past the uh, military housing and then why not let's take it all the way up to Lawrencetown and Nova Scotia would really have a trail then. But for now it's nice. One good idea I would recommend if you're from Halifax you can take the uh, ferry over to the Woodside Terminal and then you would leave from here and then you could walk or bike ride for that matter 
uh, back to Alderney and take the ferry back over to Halifax. That would be a nice thing to do. Anyway, Mike Smith, as I said, I'm a realtor who works in the Dartmouth and Halifax area. My website is ilistinhd.com. That's I-L-I-S-T-N-H-D.com.